Hey, I'm Sammy Williamson. This is my ID. This is my audience. My lovely audience. I did my speech on uh, should college athletes get paid? Alright. If you've done a job and you didn't get paid, would you be okay with that? And that begins, that begins the question of whether college athletes should get paid or not. Even though a team is one unit, there are still individuals on the field. And many of these players are either getting paid under the table or not getting paid at all. Athletes across the country are playing for universities and not getting paid a penny all the mon from all the money they make. In college sports, the athletes should get, be, should, be, should get paid for something for all the efforts they give. I'm going to try to persuade you on your beliefs of whether or not college athletes should get paid for all their hard work and efforts. College athletes should get paid for the revenue they create. The wealth made from college sports is a tremendous and, and a percentage should be given to their players. According to Lotshaw from the article, paying uh, college athletes every year, the NCAA and universities earn mo more than a million dollars from athletes that every average Joe loves to watch. Um, these college players generate an incredible amount of money. It seems only fair a portion should get to them. The Business Insider states that 231 NCAA Division I schools with a data available generated a total of $9.15 billion in revenue during a 2015 physical year. Nation.com Nation tells last year that the NCAA's men's basketball tournament generated $1.15 billion in television ads. Well, well beyond the, the revenue generated by the NFL and NBA playoffs, according to ESPN. Um, from these numbers, we see the stats showing how much money is, is going to the companies, universities, and other businesses the players never see a cent of. More information from the conservation.com tells us the NCAA wants to maintain the amateurism of college sports, even though many of these players are na nationally recognized and their influence, influential figures that uh, they prohibit the profiting from their social status. Meanwhile, people who surround these players, including coaches, athletic directors, make more money off these players' performance. Um, the con uh, conversation.com also states that how the money is split reveals who is pri prioritized in the current college sports stru uh, structure. As you see from the specific instance, the hard work from these individuals is going directly to the benefit of others from not themselves. Um, college athletes are risking high injury for no reward at all. College athletes play, every hard, play, play hard for every play of the game. And if one thing goes wrong where an in injury occurs, it could, be the end of the, it could be the end of their athletic career. SportsIllustrated.com says that according to just published article in Sports Health, 67% of a group of former Division I athletes who sustained a major injury and 50% re reported chronic injuries, a founding that was 2.5 times higher than that is seen in a non-athletics. Non and Sports Illustrated, Sports Illustrated also, also gives description of an individual that even 15 years removed from the college football college football game that um, is listed his injuries still bother him. These, these athletes face troubles from their injuries even years on down the road after their career is finished. You know? Sports Illustrated also tells that some individuals uh, describe multiple surgeries and extensive physical therapy which feels increasingly unable to exercise um, after it's like it's done after the surgeries it's still it's, it's still not fixed so Sports Illustrated also gives information about former athlete, athletes who have stopped exercising and had an increased risk of cardiovascular disease compared to students who were inactive in college 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 athletes are on a level of high-risk injuries and receive no income for what they do. The internet side knowledge that Warthorn up in describes how long hours they work to re report to unusual demanding bosses and risk significantly body harm and bringing glory to their institutions. And yet the result of all this is not a paycheck but a bill. 
Knowledge.com also tells the aspects in which it's unfair bargain with big risk and small gains for student athletes. As you can see, these specific instances, college athletes are putting a lot on the line for not much reward. And in conclusion, I believe these athletes should get paid for the hard work and the high risk they put on the line. The amount of revenue the players generate and high risk injuries are sustainable to goes into show what they should be paid. And an easy way to look and see what you decide what you think is put yourself in their shoes and think about what you would do. And that's my speech.